Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Uh, I'm gonna do another kind of update video. I've been doing a lot of these lately, but um, kind of feel the need to. So, um, I had done a video Saturday, I believe. Pretty sure it was Saturday. Um, saying, you know, oh, I had two videos I was gonna upload Monday. I literally haven't even taken my computer out of my backpack yet. Um, I haven't even had it on since like Sunday, uh, like a week ago Sunday. So I just haven't done anything. Half the time I get off work and I come home and I just want to sit and do nothing. I literally I lay in my bed, I'll watch a few YouTube videos, play a little on my phone, and then I shower and go to bed and get ready to do it all over again the next day. So, I mean, it, I just, I don't have the energy at the end of the day. Um, but, yeah, so, that's kind of why I haven't uploaded those videos yet. Uh, I will at some point, maybe I will tonight. Um, I'm at least going to get this one out, but hopefully I can maybe upload those two, I don't know. Um, it is 7.20 right now, so... Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be showering and going to bed, getting ready for work tomorrow again. Uh, so, but, um, I just had a few questions for you guys and then just wanted to update you on that. So, first question. So, um, I'm not sure if all of you have seen yet, uh, but Steam Camp Modding, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that, uh, released... Converted and released Clover Creek to FS17. Um, I know that uh, CWJ, the creator of the map, he had a post saying that there was somebody in the process of converting that map, his map over, and you know they were going to release. Uh, you know they must have already had his permission or something. And um, so yeah, that just recently came out. Well, not recently anymore, but I just noticed it recently. So my question is, would you guys like to see Clover Creek, or should we stay on UMRV? Or what I may do is, um, or what I could do is we could keep the UMRV series going, but throw in some videos of Clover Creek every once in a while, doing something different on there. Maybe we'll run a larger farm, or we'll run dairy or something like that, you know, um... We could do that. That would. That's actually maybe what I would do. Um, but it's up to you guys. I mean, I'd, I'm sure a lot of you don't want to see UMRV just go away. Uh, maybe a couple of you do. I don't know. Um, but maybe you want to see Clover Creek come in to play some. So maybe we could uh, throw that in and you know do something with that. Um, and then my other question is, would you guys like to see a, I guess you could call it like a vlog, um, basically kind of see what I do in a day? Uh, it probably wouldn't be the most interesting thing out there because I wouldn't be able to film at work, um, I don't think, you know, because of, you know, if I wanted to, I'd probably have to get the company's permission and get the people that I work with uh, permission. And then I would have to do like a lot of editing work to not show people's license plates or, you know, paperwork with their names on it and stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah, I think even if I could, I probably just wouldn't because it would, you know, I don't want to show people's like license plates and their vehicle's VIN numbers and their names and, you know, like their addresses are on sheets too. And I, I don't want to show that and I don't want to do that extra editing anyways, but... Um, I don't think I would even probably be allowed to, which, I mean, completely makes sense, of course, because of the whole privacy, um, but, uh, you know, so, but you could see, you know, kind of my preparations the night before and the stuff that I do in the morning and, you know, kind of, I probably recorded on the drive to work and then you know, on the drive home for lunch, and then maybe on the way home or something, 
and then you know usually sometimes I'll fiddle around with my pickup doing odds and ends to it um, you know kind of just doing whatever that night uh, but uh, and then I also I will try and get more videos out soon uh, just like I said I by the time I come home I don't have the energy to do that um, like tonight I was out messing with my pickup again uh, I found out that my oil pan gasket is leaking and that's what's causing me to have an oil leak because um, I had my pickup on the lift at work uh, last week Tuesday actually a week ago today uh, and I did an oil change and cleaned a whole lot of crap off underneath and located my leak and it was coming from the oil pan gasket uh, so Sometime in the future, I'll probably have to replace that. I did put in just tonight uh, a bottle of like some stop leak stuff, uh, some Lucas oil stuff that is supposed to help the gasket like expand and seal. And I don't know. I'm just giving it a shot. See maybe if you know it'll help for a little while. Um, I do want to get a new pickup, uh, or even if I have to buy a car for now, just something different. Um, I mean, this thing is. It's not good on gas. It's really old. I mean, not that that really matters, I guess. But driving a stick shift in town is just not fun, especially with how awful the drivers are here. Um, but just in general, it's, I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of fun. But after a while, it just gets so tiring to be constantly shifting. Um, so, I mean, I would definitely like to get something also newer, you know, something with a back seat. Because uh, I don't have a back seat now, and that would be very nice to have. But um, I definitely don't have the money to buy a new vehicle right now. If I did, I would definitely have to take out a loan. But it's something that I would like to do, but I'm kind of stuck with this one for now, which I, mean, I guess I just keep kind of adding parts to it slowly, and heck, maybe I'll have a brand new truck at some point. But um, yeah, so I've been blabbering on and on for seven and a half minutes already so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to shut up and uh, get this get my computer unpacked get it turned on download Clover, Cle Clover Creek oh my goodness get this thing uploaded and um, yeah I mean let me know if you guys would like to see a video of kind of what I do in a day um, I mean I can kind of show you like our shop from the outside and that would be about it but um yeah so and maybe uh if i take a drive through the vehicles after work kind of point out a couple of vehicles that i'd like to you know that would be of course that i wish i had um I mean, there's a couple duramaxes there that are nice but i wouldn't buy them because they're three quarter tons and i don't need to pick up that big and i really don't need a diesel either i would just need like a quarter ton like I have now but just a you know with a back seat I don't care if it's a small back seat just a bench seat whatever um, there is a nice um, 95 GMC there it's one year newer than mine um, that is in very nice condition and it's red exterior and a maroon interior I mean, the maroon is kind of weird to look at, but, I mean, it's it's still pretty nice, and it was almost, they did want 7000 for it, and now they dropped it to 6000 plus I could get an employee discount on it, and I could have it paid off, you know, in like a year if I wanted to, and, I mean, it'd be something that I could afford, it's about the cheapest vehicle that's there that, you know, is reasonable, so, I mean, there's, all the way from that, six thousand dollar up to like there's an eighty thousand dollar duramax there that um i saw the auto detailing guys working on uh, they actually work in the same shop as i do um the quick lube and the detailing are in the same shop and so it's always kind of fun to see what they bring in and what's going to be out on the lot pretty soon and kind of be like oh i might have to watch for the price of that and uh you know the listing of that but uh they had a, it was a Duramax, but it had a giant lift and giant tires, and I 
me personally, I think that's ridiculous to put like a big lift on a diesel or like unless you're going to use the truck for let's say like mudding purposes or something like that. I don't see a reason for a huge lift and ginormous tires. I mean, I've seen people that have tires that stick way out the side of their vehicle and it's just I th I personally think it's ridiculous. I mean, if you're doing like a small lift, I I, you know, I would, you know, but to put as big a lift as it was on that thing, that was just kind of ridiculous. But that and the fact that it was $80,000 and used. But um, I saw that and I just had a holy smokes moment. But uh, yeah, so and let me know what you think about that down in the comments. And uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get one out for you here this week. Uh, kind of get something going. Or maybe I may just record one anyways tonight or tonight and tomorrow and then if you guys say you'd like to see it then i'll upload it and you know if i get a lot of good feedback maybe i'll do another one in the future um but it'll just something different something to do uh something different for you guys i guess but okay i'm gonna go ahead and end this thing i said i was gonna end it four minutes ago but here i am talking so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this thing. Um, so yeah, leave me your feedback down below. Should we add Clover Creek to the mix of videos uh, when I get back into them? Uh, or get rid of UMRV and replace it with Clover Creek? Uh, me personally, I'd kind of just like to throw Clover Creek in there at times. Because I really enjoy UMRV. And we kind of hate to leave it behind. But, you know, it's up to you guys. Um, you're the ones that watch the content. So... It's totally up to you guys, and then let me know what you think of a, you know, a vlog type video. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.